My name is Tina aka Tokyo Diaries and I'm mainly making videos about my life in Tokyo but also quite a lot of fashion. So if you're interested in that please consider subscribing, also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to click the notification bell in order to get notified when I upload a new video. And today in this video I want to take you with me on a short trip with friends to Jiugaoka. So and if you ask What's Chiyugaoka? I've never heard of that place. Well, it's here um, from Tokyo. It's not that far. It is actually still Tokyo, I guess. Chiyugaoka is one of those very nice neighborhoods. It's not as crowded as Shibuya and Shinjuku. You have a lot of cute shops and cafes. And what we are going to do there is we want to go to one of those cute cafes, which is called uh, Imoko. And this shop uh, specializes in sweets with a sweet potato flavor. Today I'm in Jiugaoka, yeah. I'm in Jiugaoka because I want to go with this group of girls today to a cafe. Yeah, background, my background people <laughs> that I hired today. Oh, thank you. I paid a lot for that. I paid quite a lot for that. And we want to go to a cafe that is called Imoko, which is here in this area. Is it new? Is it a new cafe? Yeah, it's new. It's just recently opened and it's um, specialized in sweet potato sweets with a sweet potato flavor so we're going to go there and it looks really good if you're curious just keep on watching this video Jiugaoka is a very nice place you can find a lot of cute shops there and what I like about those neighborhoods is they're not as crowded and they're very pretty actually. We found it. It's super small. We couldn't make a reservation by the way because it's so small. So we just had to come here and see if we can get in or not. small place so there were only like four counter places at the counter and two small tables and we were lucky enough to get a table and two places at the counter we were thinking that we weren't able to get into the cafe that fast but um, we met around 1 in the afternoon and we got into the place already 1.30 so we only had to wait like 30 minutes which was pretty neat I told you that this place is specializing in sweet potato flavored sweets, but they have mainly three different types of Mont Blanc, and they also had a puffy that looked a little bit like a Mont Blanc. We all ordered the same one. They had two normal Mont Blancs that are normally like a, a brownish color or something like that, like um, because it's originally chestnut flavored. And then they had a violet one, Murasaki Ido. And uh, we all ordered this one, just because I think of the color we like. And it was so delicious. It was also very interesting to see how they make it. You could see, um, like next to the cashier, there was a place where they kind of made the Mont Blancs. They were also really totally open to us filming the whole time. We were really standing around and filming everything and taking 1000 photos. 
it was a little bit expensive. Um, one of those Mont Blancs was around 1,800 yen, which is on the more expensive side. But a drink, a coffee or a tea was included for free actually. You did not have to pay extra for the drink. So that was nice and I think for that um, the price was still okay. This is why we came here today and I tried to cut it in half but it's really hard. It's like a lot of cake and something, I don't know, cookie-like. Mm. It falls apart. Mm. And there's also something like, I think this is kind of sugar or something on top that they burn so that it, so that it gets crusty. This is really delicious. It's also, it's not too sweet. It's really good. So um, we finished eating, and most of us ate everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just wanted, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think? Ten out of, I don't know. Um, what do you think? It wasn't that sweet. I was surprised that the Mont Blanc that we had wasn't that sweet. That is very nice because normally they are extremely sweet. Expensive? Yeah, yeah. Expensive, yeah. But the size is good. Yeah, like one was around 1,800 yen, but you get a drink. Yeah, you don't have to pay extra for the drink. So I th don't think it's that expensive. Maybe. Yeah, yeah and normally I think it's pretty average for something yeah. like this. So that is our rating. Maybe like 8 out of 10. Anything? Uh, 8. We say 8 out of 10. <laughs> but it was really nice. There's a cafe in the basement. This is not the restaurant, right? Not a cafe. After we visited the cafe, we went um, for a short walk and we went to a different department store where our friend was introducing to us a nice cafe. At Imoko, at the first cafe we went to, we had a time limit. So there are a couple of cafes in Japan where you have a time limit of one hour, one and a half or two hours. So um, we were just heading to the next cafe in a department store nearby, chatting basically for the rest of the day. Like we were sitting there probably for four to five hours. I can't remember. Hello. <laughs> 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 We talked and talked and we had a very nice dinner there. I didn't order anything because I wasn't hungry at that point. I was eating at home, but um, the others had a nice dinner there and I got one of their teas. They were specializing in teas. They had nice types of teas that you could order. Also like a very, very nice looking strawberry tea with actually strawberries inside, which looked really, really cool. But I was going for a very regular and normal tea because I wanted to get something normal, not sweet. here in this restaurant we sat here like for a couple of hours and we're going home now it's already uh, 6 30 or something and um, we were just talking for a couple of hours here so so see you
thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet also leave a comment or question if you have a question or a comment in the comment section down below i'm really looking forward to read from you 